So ETH is now $850, and because we want to entice people to liquidate, or people to allow this to liquidate faster so that we get back to the 160% ratio, then we, we do a 5% discount. So that will, that will be $807.50 for one ETH. So what we want to do over here is, firstly, we want to assume that X is the amount of ETH sold. And then we want to assume, or we can let Y be the amount of stable tokens, stable, stable packed tokens purchased. So what we want to do is to replace the ETH with some of these stable tokens. So how, we, how do we do that? How this thing works, as you, can, as you saw in the, the introduction, is that we have one ETH times the value of ETH divided by the amount borrowed you get 160%, which is 1.6. And so this, initially, it was 1 ETH times $1,000 divided by, we borrow 625 bucks, you have 160%. Now, because things have changed, so what we look at is one, the amount of ETH will be 1 minus X sold, multiply by 850 bucks, which is what ETH is worth now, divided by the same amount sold, so divided by the amount borrowed, but this is y. Y is, y is what we're going to assume that will be purchased, so minus y, so you owe less. It's also 160%. So this is what we want to figure out, what's x and what's y. Okay, so what I want to show you over here is that y, which is the USDC or the stablecoin, is really the amount of x that we're going to replace times this discount rate, which is 807.50 cents. So this is the rate that we're looking at. So this is... This is what the new state would be, 1 minus x, which is the amount of ETH liquidated, times the value, which is 850, divided by 625 minus y, which is the amount of USDC that we're going to, going to repay, or the stable coin that we're going to repay, and the ratio will be 160%, which is 1.6. So if you just do the math out, and you just, put, you just replace y with x, and you just move x to one side, y x you get 0 0.34 and y you get 274.55. What does this mean? This means that the person who liquidates, the liquidator, bought, three, bought 0 0.34 ETH for the value of, at the value of 274.55 stable coins. And whatever that's remaining, so the person whose, whose vault gets liquidated, instead of owing 1 ETH, you owe 0 0.66 ETH, and oh, you, you still have 0 0.66 ETH to claim, and you borrowed 350.45 out of it. So let's see if this ratio holds. And to calculate this ratio, you basically get 0 0.66 ETH times 850 bucks divided by 350.45. And let's see what the ratio says. And according to my calculator, it's 1.6007, which is, you know, that 1.6 ratio or collaterals that we are looking at. And so this is how it's being calculated. Ta-da! So that's it. That's how you calculate the collateral ratio if your asset drops. Of course, if your asset rises, then that's fine. You can borrow even more or you can just let it be because the minimum ratio is 160%. That's it. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comments below.